Hey everybody, I am Kathy, the Manny Maniac. I wanted to uh, share with you some nail tips and I recently found a really cool company for uh, dips and gels and everything called Sparkle & Co. They've become my new favorite. Uh, I've probably purchased close to 25 different colors in the last two weeks since I found them. But I'm gonna be sharing all of my tips and most of all, weekly manicures with you so you can see what the colors look like. We'll try some cool stuff. I've got nail stamping coming up. I'm gonna show you how to do an ombre, things like that. Feel free to add your questions to a post on Instagram or in the comments below. I'll be happy to try and answer any of them that I can. Disclaimer, I am not a professional nail technician. I just really love this stuff and so I wanted to share it with you. So I wanted to take just a quick minute to tell you why I love the dipping powder system so much. Um, the first one I used, um, I liked it okay, but it didn't have the range of colors I was looking for. When I first started using dip powder about a year ago, so it was like probably February or March um, 2018, I heard about it from a friend of mine. Uh, we went through a training class together and her nails looked awesome and I asked her about it. She said, oh yeah, I go to the salon and they do the dipping powder. And I was like, what's that? So when I got back home, I went into my local salon. I found one that did the dipping powder and had it done and I loved it. The reason I love it so much is that my nails, um, they peel a lot. So they kind of like peel this way um, into like little sheets. So if I put nail polish on, it just flakes off with my nail um, and it's just, it doesn't stay for more than a day or two. Plus, you know, polish just kind of chips. I tried the gel, same thing, because my nail actually peels off in kind of layers. The gel would just come right off with it a lot of the time. This dipping system is strong and um, my nails never grew and they grow. This is my natural nail underneath there. So it's the reason I absolutely love the dipping systems and I definitely wanna share that as I mentioned before, I am not a professional nail tech. I just do this because I love it, but I'd love to share that stuff with you. Today I have a really awesome first manicure plan, so let's do it. Okay, hi everybody. Um, we are going to do this mani today. I'm gonna to show you what I've done. Um, it's the best way to show you here. This is a really deep blue color called Hello Sailor, it's dip 39 from Sparkle and & Company. And you can see I have an ombre glitter called Holiday Lights. This was a special um, one time they offered with a Friday freebie order. Um, they do stuff like that all the time. So I'm gonna show you with this glitter, but you could use any, um, I was gonna, I was thinking about doing this one, which is uh, Hocus Pocus. It's kind of a light white with some glitter in it. Um, or you could even do this is a dip 56 called All the Sparkles. That's a really, really shiny, tons of shimmer in that one. So you can do it with anything. The technique will be the same. So I'm gonna show you. I've pretty much prepped my nails. I pushed my cuticles back. I filed shaped my nails. I'm just gonna go through and um, clean up the cuticle um, with my e-file. You don't have to use an e-file. Um, again, I am not a professional technician. I've just learned how to do this stuff over um, years and years of doing my own nails. Basically all I'm doing here is just going around the cuticle where new growth has come in since the last set of uh, dip nails I put on. And just um, really this is a, the very lightest um, bit that they have um, to buff and you just do really slowly around. You could also use a buffer and just go kind of across the edges here this way so that you can get those cuticle pieces off because it will stick a lot better if you do. And rough up your nail just a tiny bit, not too much. I'm gonna brush that off so that any dust on there. So I'm using this set by Sparkle & Company. I love this. Sparkle & Co is amazing. I found them just two weeks ago. 
and I have already ordered obviously plenty from them um, but I love it and I just can't wait which is why I'm gonna do one manicure every week so that you can see um, all the different things I'm trying sometimes I'll do different colors um, depending on if I'm working or not I'm a flight attendant so I am kind of governed by what the airline says I can put on my fingers uh, they do have rules about that kind of stuff so if you ever are wondering yes we do have uh, certain restrictions but they've kind of loosened them uh, lately so I'm gonna um, show you what we're doing here so I use the sparkling company um, liquids so this is the number one, the pH prep. Your number two is the base bond. I'm gonna show you how to use all these. Number three is your solidify. That's gonna harden the uh, powder once you put it on. And then you're gonna put on the glossy top coat. You can also use a gel coat. This one's easy. It's the Sally Hansen uh, Miracle Gel. Um, I have it for other uses, but I generally just use the Sparkle & Co liquids um, now. I, I love them. To do this ombre, the other thing you're gonna need is your, um, just a little uh, eyeshadow brush. This is just an e.l.f. brush that I bought at Target for $3. Um, I like how it's kind of fanned out, it catches things, and you'll see we're gonna use that to apply the, um, the sparkles. So also you're gonna need just a nail file, and again, your buffing block um, that we're gonna use uh, in a little bit here to kind of shape the nail once we put the powder dip powder on so I don't like my dip to get particularly thick so I'm pretty careful about um, how much I put on etc you'll see like I put on a decent amount but um, I definitely am careful about that and I'll, I'll buff it down if it feels too thick because I can't stand when my nail gets super thick so you can see these are not really very thick here I don't like it to be too much. So the first thing we're gonna do is step one, that's the pH prep. We're just gonna put it on the nail here. Just a little bit. It's just gonna kind of dry out your nail so that the um, base bond and powder adhere a little bit better. And you can see I've already kind of gone through and done the full manicure except these last two. This video would be way too long if I did them all for you. So, so our next step is again the base bond. So we're gonna use that. You wanna apply this in pretty thin coats. So um, you'll see when I pull this out, I kind of swirl it around a little bit just to thin it. And um, that way it's not too, too much. Put that over here. So you can see I'm just gonna start a little bit away from my cuticle and push down towards the cuticle and then pull away. Uh, it just helps it not be as goopy so for this particular manicure, we're gonna do uh, two coats of Sparkle & Co dip number 39 called Hello Sailor. That's this dark blue underneath here. So just a nice light coat, then we're gonna take our dip powder. I always hold it steady because you can tip these over really easily. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and dip my finger right in here all the way down so the nail is covered. And then I'm actually gonna just kind of wait for a quick second here, make sure I get good coverage. And I'm just gonna wait for a second for that to um, kind of set because the base coat is what's gonna pick up the powder. So I just wait a couple extra seconds. And honestly, if you have a few uh, spaces that don't, like you can see this side didn't really pick up all that well, don't worry about it because we're gonna go over it with a second coat and uh, we'll make sure to get all those areas really, really well. So don't worry about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next finger here. I'm gonna do the same thing, kind of swirl my brush around and put on the base here. So just make sure you get those edges really well. And again, this is why you make sure and go around and buff off that cuticle um, you can use a cuticle scraper too. I did that already, but just to get any excess. And you want to apply this pretty thin. You don't want to goop it on there, but you'll see I kind of go over it quite a few times to just make sure it is nice and thin. And then I'm going to tap down this from last time I put my finger in it just so it's nice and even, and then just dip straight in. Roll side to side a little bit. And again, I'm just gonna wait here for just a second so you can see that 
that dip powder. This blue is quite pigmented, so it leaves a little dust, but you can see by my other hand that that's already come off, and I just did these right before, so you can see that's all gonna come off. And then we're just gonna give it a tap over the bottle because we wanna save as much of that powder as possible. Uh, some of it is gonna leak out. I have seen people put like cupcake liners underneath, which I think is a great idea. I just, I'm in a hotel right now, so I don't have any with me. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our little duster brush. This again came from Sparkle & Co. And just kind of give a little brush here. And this is just to get the excess. You do not wanna push hard. Just kind of brush off that excess powder. And the reason we're gonna do that is because we're gonna go over this with another coat of the base. And um, you'll see, especially with these darker colors and with sparkles, sometimes the, um, the color kind of gets on there. So you'll see when we do this here, that the, the brush is gonna kind of get a bluish tinge to it, picking up some of that excess powder. So we brush off as much as we can get off, but don't push hard because you don't want it to come off. And then we're just gonna put on another coat of the base here. Gonna make sure and get especially this area. We lost a bunch of the, see? So this is real life. It doesn't always go perfectly. See how some of it came off? But I'm gonna, again, tap this down so it's nice and even, and I'm gonna roll side to side so we get all that base that we just put on covered. And then again, I'm gonna wait for a few seconds and let that base soak in that powder. Because some of it's gonna come off when we tap, but we wanna make sure we're getting a good coat here. So we'll give that a little tap. So now you can see that that hole that we had has been covered up. So we're gonna let that sit. Also, you would generally with this, uh, like the darker colors like this, you would just go ahead and do um, all five nails at once. So you just do base, one coat, base, one coat, base, one coat. You wanna give these a couple minutes because they do kind of need to set and like I said, soak in that dip. If you do them too quickly for this uh, type of dip it's gonna maybe push away or pick up some of the powder that you want to stay on there there are some um, tricks to using other dips that have like big chunky glitter where you would do them a little bit faster but we're not going to get in that today so you can see i've got a little bit of blue tinge on this brush i'm just going to wipe it on this towel you can use a paper towel it doesn't really matter i'm going to tap that down again and right into the blue I'm gonna kind of just rolling back and forth so I can get it all the way across. And then I'm just gonna wait here for a minute. You can see again, very pigmented blue on here, which is good because that's what makes it nice and dark and also helps us so that we don't have to use, you know, a ton of uh, layers, which again, the more layers you put on, the thicker it's gonna get. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the blue. We're not gonna use that again, so I'm gonna put the cap on right away. I generally don't even sit or have, let them sit without the cap because it's just, it's an accident waiting to happen, to be completely honest. <laughs> they tip over sometimes. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the ombre and put on the sparkles, which is again called holiday lights. I have the clear out because um, I'm gonna put the sparkles kind of just at the base, like you can see here. I don't have a ton of sparkles at the end, but that base coat I'm gonna put on my whole nail. So we need something to kind of hold that space. That's what we're gonna use the clear for. So you can see here, and I'm just kind of giving these a minute to just, again, set so that uh, it picks up that pigment, that powder, and it stays nice and solid like it is. We don't have any empty spaces. So now you can see I'm going to brush. There are a lot of that blue pigment from my fingers even just came off and do the bottom just because. And um, you can see we still have really, really nice coverage here. Okay, so next we're going to do the ombre. And so I have just the base coat again, same as before. Now this is where I'm going to need my uh, eyeshadow brush. So I'm going to have that right here. And I'm gonna show you how we do this. So we're gonna just put on, again, a normal coat of, of the base. Just carefully, not too thick. Just pull it all the way down. 
And again, if you get some color on that brush, just give it a little wipe, put it back in here. So what we're gonna do to create this ombre on this finger is we're going to take our brush and just dip it. I just, one little dip. I'm gonna hold it right over the kind of edge, right where my cuticle is and just give it a tap. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna rotate back and forth because I wanna kind of get into that crevice on the side of my, um, of my finger here and then just kind of give it some little taps. You know, till it looks good to you, everybody's gonna be different. You might wanna put it kind of all over. You might wanna do two different colors, whichever, whichever you wanna do. And then we're just gonna tap off the extra. You wanna give it a good, good hit here to get off any extra glitter, because that's going in the clear. Just straight dip into the clear. So you can see that clear is on there. Now I'm not gonna tap over the clear just because there are sparkles in here. And I don't want them to get all into my clear. But if you just kind of dip it and then pull it out and then tap it, that should be fine for this clear. So you can see we've got that clear over top of the blue there. And that's just, again, that's just gonna hold the, the space of the sparkles. Once we buff this down, you're gonna be able to see these sparkles really, really well. It doesn't look like it now, I know, but I promise you'll see. So we're gonna do the next nail here. We're gonna do our base coat, not too much. Let me tap a little bit off of there. Okay. And again, make sure you get all the way to those edges. You don't, you don't wanna get this all over your cuticle because if you do, it's gonna stick. You're gonna have powder all built up all over your finger and you don't want that. So put our brush back. We're gonna get our eye, eyeshadow brush again and just dip it right in. Also, another thing is you wanna make sure that you shake these jars, or not shake, but kind of rotate them around. Um, I had already done it because I was using them already, but um, you just wanna make sure that you rotate them around because you can see there's kind of all different colors here. You want them to be settled. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a good, nice tap to get any excess sparkle off. Tap down our clear and just one quick dip into there and pull it off, and again, we're gonna tap over here because if there are sparkles that are gonna come off, I don't want them to go in here. If you do get sparkles into your clear or any color or anything like that, I just get, now this is a different brush. Don't put the one with sparkles into the clear, okay? I've made that mistake before. Just get this I've been just using to clean out the clear. If you see a little sparkle, just grab it with this and tap it to the side and get that off of there. So you just grab it and, and tap that off of there. So can kind of keep your sparkles out of there a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the dip. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover these up again. I'm clumsy and I do not wish to spill my beautiful. Also, really quickly, just to show you, you can see I've got kind of two different sizes here. Um, this Sparkling Co. does something what I think is really cool and that they offer a full size, which is one ounce of a color. You could also buy a mini, which is close to half. I'm not sure in, in ounces or grams how much it would be, but, um, and you can see that this one's quite a bit bigger. The smaller ones will do five to seven manis. Uh, with one jar these will do like 30 the larger ones so when you're talking about having a, a variety of colors I'll just pull some of these other ones in here and you can see that I have all these these are all mini sizes so you've got pink silver I've got the white stuff another type of pink uh, this one's one's a brighter pink and one's a ro more of a rose gold. Um, these are fantastic, these minis. Um, right now, uh, December 2018, these are, you can buy five minis for $40. Just to give you a comparison, if you've gone and gotten a dip manicure at the salon, $40 for one, just one. So by the time you invest in all this stuff, you're really saving a lot of money and it does take practice. I'm not gonna lie, there is a learning curve. But uh, how cool is it? I mean, I've got so many different colors. The colors that I absolutely love and I know I'm gonna use a lot, like this. This is called Sparkle All The Way. This is a subscription. They have subscriptions, subscription bags. But this is just, I mean, this is pretty much my ideal color. Raspberry with a lot of black and a lot of sparkles. A nice dark raspberry. This is my ideal. So I did buy a one ounce of this because there's no way in anything that I am gonna 
not because it's my favorite. Um, but for other colors, you know, you might use a lot, you might not. You can always um, buy more as long as they're not gonna retire. Uh, as I mentioned, this says SB, that's for the subscription. So this is something you can only purchase if you have a subscription. Every month they will send you a subscription bag and they have uh, different uh, levels that you can get. Um, they do also sell gels and regular uh, nail polish. Um, all their products are fantastic. If you go to sparkleandco.com, uh, their subscriptions start at $29.99 a month right now. And uh, for the dip bag or the regular polish or the gel bag. And then you can get a luxe bag, which has a little bit more in it. That's a little higher price point. And then there's a I want it all bag, uh, which is the highest price point. And you get the dips, the gels, and the regular nail polish every month. It's a really great program. They even have a referral program. So if you do go on there, uh, and sign up for a subscription, you will get an $18 credit for your first order if you put my name in there, so Kathy DeSoto, um, and I will also get a credit. So $18 will buy you one of these big jars, 30 manicures in here, basically. So that is a steal, if you ask me. Uh, so Sparkle & Co., if you sign up for the subscription, you get an $18 credit, as will I, for referring you. You put my name, Kathy, C-A-T-H-E-E, DeSoto, D-E-S-O-T-O. -E -E -O. Um, if you put that in the notes section when you place your first order, don't forget to put it in there. If you are not ready for a subscription, but you would like to try out some of their products, when you place your first order, you can get a $9 referral credit for just your first order. Uh, if you put my name in there, I will also get the $9 credit. It's a reciprocal. So for referring people, I get a credit. And for you being a first-time customer, you get a credit. So these are really, really great. And again, these minis are phenomenal because just how many cool colors can you have? And a little here, a little there. You can do mixed manis uh, with some, some complementary colors. I'll show you real quickly some of the swatches that I have that I've made. And these are just the colors I've bought in the last couple weeks since I found out about Sparkle & Co. <laughs> I was using another dip system before, like I mentioned, and I am done with that and on to Sparkle & Co. pretty much exclusively. Um, you can see all these fantastic colors, but um, just for example, like how cool would these two be together? Right here, this is Raspberry Wine and uh, Smitten Something Fierce. Like how beautiful are those two colors? right you could even do the technique we're doing and do an ombre of the sparkle over this and that would look phenomenal in fact i will probably be doing that in the next couple weeks so you can come back and check that out so anyway these are fantastic now that this has kind of had a second to set i'm going to again brush it off while i've been chat chat chatting away like i always do you'll get used to it don't worry <laughs> at least i hope you will so we're gonna close up our base coat because we are done with that. And again, we do not wanna spill. We're gonna pull out. Step number three is the solidify. So this is what's gonna give um, some hardness to this. You know, the dip is a liquid, so it can get uh, moved. So if we put the solidify on here, that's the next step. So we can do those at the same time. We're gonna give those just a quick second. And this is the part where we're gonna go ahead and buff and shape our nails, okay? So I'm gonna get all these edges and I'm gonna do this with the regular buffer this time so you can see. Um, I know a lot of people don't use the e-files so I'll try and use these in the videos as much as I can so you can kind of see but I'm just gonna give these a good buff. Um, the Sparkling Co. Clear, you definitely wanna buff over it um, so that it comes out nice and smooth but you wanna get, again, right along the cuticle. See, I'm going that corner right along the cuticle there. And then again on the edges. So just give this a nice buff, smooth down these edges. This is so that when they grow out, um, you won't get a whole lot of gap. So you can see I'm just going right along the edge. You wanna do that on these edges so that you can kind of get them into the shape that you want. And then I'm gonna go over and just kind of make sure the shape is right. So you can see you want a nice, you know, dome, the shape of your nail, the natural shape of your nail. You wanna mimic that. You don't want there to be any big, you know, lumps or anything. So we're just gonna give that a good file. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one real quick here. 
same thing along the cuticle edge, along the side edges. If you feel it sticking, this one I got a little too close, so you can, I don't know if you can see that that's kind of like stuck a little bit. I just take my regular file, put it against my and pull, and it'll kind of come loose. So we'll just file that a little bit just to give it the shape that we want. And again, I've shaped my nails before I even put this on, so they should be already in the shape that you want them before you do any of the dipping, because otherwise it will just take way too long to fix it, more or less. Okay, so we got that. Let's see, I'm gonna do this side a little bit more. And you know, I've, I've been dipping my nails myself for probably about six months, so I've got quite a good amount of practice. When you do this, take your time. You know, there's no rush, and you wanna get the steps down and do them right, because you know, that's how you're gonna learn, and then you'll just get faster from there. So, you know, don't worry about speed. I know some of you out there, you know, have got kids and all that jazz. Stay up one night, pour a glass of wine, and you know, start practicing your nails. The great thing about these is, even though I'm saying I'm gonna do a one manicure every week, I don't need to change these, but probably every two weeks. So they do last quite a long time, which I totally love. So now that those are all shaped and buffed, you can see they're nice and smooth. They've got that natural shape of my nail. I've got no bumps or anything on there. I'm just gonna give them a little dust with my brush. Before I got this from Sparkle & Co, I just used a old makeup brush. <laughs> it was like an old blush brush or something like that that I had sitting around. So I grabbed that and started using it. All right, so once we've done the buffing, okay, so we did the base coat with the powders, whatever you're gonna do design-wise. Then we have uh, one coat of the Solidify, then we're gonna shape and buff. We're gonna do one more coat of the Solidify. Now. I mentioned that you can use a gel top over this and you'll see in, a, in the salons a lot of times they do this. A lot of people say it's shinier. I, I don't necessarily find that to be true, um, but a lot of people do and that's totally fine. Whatever is, is good. I don't like to carry around my LED lamp because I have more than enough stuff to carry as a flight attendant uh, I, when I'm traveling from city to city. so. Um, if you are going to use a gel top like this Sally Hansen one um, or uh, Sparkling Co. sells a uh, no wipe top coat, uh, that I think that one needs a lamp. Um, or, you know, you can, you can use the uh, Sally Hansen one that I just mentioned um, either way. But I'm going to do the traditional way here. So I've got the uh, step number four. Oops, sorry. Step number four is the glossy coat. And same thing, I'm just gonna kind of do a thin coat here. We don't want to do too, too much. Now you're gonna do this twice, pretty close in a row. And um, the first coat is gonna dry pretty quickly and it doesn't look like much. So don't be alarmed if your first coat of glossy does not look really glossy it kind of, once it dries, it kind of takes on a matte finish. So you can see this one, which is done already, is much uh, glossier. This one's kind of got like a little bit more of a matte. Well, it doesn't look too bad. So then as soon as that one dries, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it again with my glossy coat and just go right over top. And then it's gonna pick up some of that shine. Now, this is the probably one of the coolest things and one of the uh, coolest things about it. Um, as soon as this glossy coat kind of has a second to dry, you'll see it doesn't take too long at all. They're done and they're completely dry. So we're just gonna give it another minute here. I'd say like a minute or two. You know, regular nail polish feels like it takes ages to dry and to really set till it's hard and you can touch it without, you know, leaving your fingerprints in it. This does not take that long, which I totally love. So, let me just get some background here so you can see how pretty that is, see? 
just beautiful and see how shiny these are the two we just did see how shiny they are but it's almost Christmas so I'm just having fun with this and the uh, name of this glitter is holiday lights so of course it looks like a bunch of holiday little lights right and this is completely dry to the touch right now no marks no nothing completely dry love it all right so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on the ombre and the dip nails. Uh, if you have questions, please post them below. I will be happy to answer anything. If you have something you want to figure out how to do, a uh, specific style you want to see, please let me know. Uh, if, it's a, if it's in the realm of possibility for me to do it or find out how to do it, I will. Um, so please, please, please uh, like this video, comment, and uh, make sure that you hit subscribe. And uh, if you're interested in uh, dipping nails, and the powders, once again, Sparkle and Co. I'll put a link in the show notes for you. Uh, make sure you put in my name as your referral in the notes when you process your order. Um, before you fully place your order, there'll be a notes section there. Kathy DeSoto, you wanna put that in there so that you do get that credit also. And um, I'm super excited because I'm gonna go home in a couple days to pick up my subscription bag, so I will have a subscription um, bag unboxing for you. So that's coming up. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.